Hey guys, it's Candace Cruz for Red Carpet Report, and we're talking to the cast of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel at the opening night of Paley Fest. How are you? Candace, nice to meet you. Where did you get this for Zara. Recently, right like two days ago. Wow. Yes. Sarah you should. I they have it in rose color as well. It's all the colors. So you have, I know. See, it's perfect. You're welcome. You all had such a journey throughout the season. We were talking about it earlier. You all have like three different consecutive like storylines within the whole series of going to Paris. What was that like doing a little journey of Rose and figuring out more about her outside of being the housewife that we've known her to be? I love that. When I first got the script, you know, many years ago now, um, I, and I thought I, I thought I understood who she might be. Every single thing that's come up since then has been somewhat of a surprise. And I love that Amy and Dan do keep us kind of deepening and finding the contradictions of human nature. And last year when I landed in Paris, who would have thunk that my character would be in a tiny little apartment? And smoking, drinking, and going to art classes. I just, I just love that, that this was a discovery that I could never have predicted. I mean, you're living your best life, like 100. Yeah. yeah. And you started living your best life there too, very much so. Absolutely. And why did we have to come back? I, I, I don't know. We, yeah. we want to go back to Paris. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it's so tricky, especially in the series television. You know, where you, and and and, and, and most specifically in comedy, where you really do get to, you, you, your character is kind of one thing and you mm. repeat the same one or two colors right. over and over. And this, these writers, uh, th th this particular storyline, you know, they, they, they just, they, they keep throwing new stuff at us. They, and, 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 and illustrating how well-rounded these characters are and how kind of complicated and conflicted and um, contra even contradictory they are, like real people happen to be. And so for actors, it's a real luxury to have, to be able to discover more and more as you go along. Well, we got to see a lot more of your character as well, outside of being just Papa, of, you know, going to the Catskills, finding out that Midge is a comedian, trying to hide it, letting that reveal, all of it. So what was your favorite episode, if you had to pick one for both of you during season two? Well, I loved, uh, Paris was fantastic. I, I really loved the Catskills because uh, there was a big uh, inciting incident during that one where I get to see her, I see her for the first time on stage. So for me, that was a seismic shift in, in, in my whole character. This is a woman that I, uh, this girl that I raised and woman that I thought I knew and understood, I realized was a totally different person. And so, um, for me, that was a, that was kind of a, a yeah, a, 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 that was my favorite, just because of the change. I, I, I was madly in love with the Paris stuff, and I just, it was hard to let Rose come back, and, mm -hmm. and yet, I think Rose felt that, so I just kind of let myself feel what I had imagined she was feeling. Well, I'm so excited to see season three, and congratulations on all the success. I actually got to see you at SAG Awards and you brought the trophy and I get to hold it, so it's it was... Thing. And it's, it, thank you for. It was such an honor to just even hold it. I can only imagine what it was like to like actually receive it and to have that moment for all of you all to just sit it. Huge. Really yeah. It was huge. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely, Lovely talking to, talk to you. you. Thank you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below, and tell me what is your favorite TV show.